Our story begins on the shores of West Africa, where many freeborn African men, women, and children were stolen from their homelands. The kidnapped West Africans were herded into cells, branded, and packed onto slave ships bound for plantations in the New World. The journey to the Americas was horrific. Africans were shackled together and packed into the bottom of the ship. The captives had no room to turn over or sit up. Disease and madness spread rapidly throughout the horrifying six-week journey. As many as two million Africans died en route to the Americas. Slaves were shipped to the American colonies to serve as a cheap source of labor on southern cotton and tobacco plantations. Africans were familiar with slavery. However, unlike African slavery, in America, slaves were treated as property. They were often sold at public auctions with animals, crops, and tobacco. Slaves were forced to work on plantation fields from sunup to sundown. Slaves who disobeyed their masters were whipped, starved, tortured, or sold away. Many families were broken up because masters sold children away from mothers and husbands away from wives. Several slaves tried to escape by running away to the north. If a runaway slave was caught, they were having a limb chopped off, they were whipped, some were even killed. Cruel masters forced their slaves to wear torture devices as punishment for running away. Despite the consequences, many African Americans were determined to obtain their freedom. Slaves sung secret messages and songs in order to help other slaves run away. They often waded through the water so that slave hunters and bloodhounds could not pick up their scents. Abolitionists like J.W.C. Pennington, Francis Ellen Watkins Harper, and Frederick Douglass spoke out against slavery. They appealed to the powerful whites and politicians to end the inhumane institution of slavery. Americans were sharply divided on the issue of slavery. This division, in addition to other factors, led to the bloodiest war on American soil, the Civil War. After four long and bloody years of war, the Union soldiers of the North defeated the Confederate soldiers of the South. In the process, President Abraham Lincoln emancipated all slaves in the United States of America. By the passage of the 13th Amendment, Abraham Lincoln made it illegal for any American citizen to be a slave.